Danny, you're very welcome into studio. Thank you very much. And I see you bought a friend. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's very quiet though. She There's is, the gug yeah. out of her. <laughs> <laughs> well, if 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 we do, maybe that's why we're getting the nightmare. If she does talk, we're in trouble. Yeah, that yeah, would be that very could creepy. Be the nightmare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, in case the listeners are wondering what on earth that we're talking about, all will be revealed on the video tonight. Yeah. Um, Danny, you're off to Killarney races tomorrow. Yes. All yes. excited? Yeah, all excited. Haven't been there for a few years or any races for that matter. But Killarney being my hometown, it's like going back, not taken away from Galway or Listowel. Um, it's just a different experience. Yeah, I've never been to Killarney races. Come here, we'll take the day off tomorrow and you join me as well. Can you imagine that for a day of fun? Oh, sure. Listen, you, I like it. It'd be brilliant. We'd get into all kinds of uh, We would, yeah, in trouble. Danny, yeah, the two of yeah, us. Yeah. Um, so listen, the, we've kind of a Killarney races or a races themed fashion slot today, but you're also going to, it, it's, you're going to talk about dressing up, but it could be for weddings or the races. Mm-hmm. So, um, Will we kick off? You you said you might talk a little bit about uh, multiple going to multiple weddings and and switching around outfits, outfits for that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, will we kick off with that? Maybe. Yeah, we will. That'd be brilliant. I, I suppose with all the vi- the weddings that have been stockpiled for a while, a lot of people there might be two, three weddings if you're lucky, but some of them are getting it a month. But part of it can be very expensive. And one thing you can u- use the same outfit but use it differently. Maybe put a scarf on, um, maybe a different blazer, different headpiece. You can make it look completely different by changing one or two things. So you're saying you'd, if you're invited to four weddings this summer, you don't have to have four different outfits? No, you don't. Don't go to the expense. Don't be putting the pressure on you. A lot of people are going, I can't afford weddings or whatever. You can cleverly buy when it comes to fashion. Sometimes uh, if you want to bring in a dress and if that happens please bring it in to me in in the store and I can go through if I have time and the shop is quiet I can go through all the different ideas that are out there um, it just needs a little bit of imagination imagination and you know sometimes people don't see what other people will see ah well you see you've the trained eye you're an award winning stylist <laughs> well I think more people can as well like people are afraid of print but I think it's one of the easiest ways to make things look completely different. That's so summery now, that dress it you're is holding up. so summery. Like, the reason why I've gone for a blaster colour with the sun shining, and even if it isn't sure it'll make you happy, this is another floral one. But again, you've the puff sleeves. This is €59. Euro. It's what I would call um, a real fashion dress where you'll get a, maybe a few seasons out of it, then it can go in the into, recycle bag into the recycle but again I've other ones that aren't but look even by adding on a pink pashmina like this it changes the colour straight away and how would you wear that now over again, your shoulders over the shoulder and like the one thing that I would say to people is make sure instead of there's nothing worse than walking in somewhere and you haven't got your shawl on right thanks to god us men don't have to worry about it say i've it done like this i'd keep it in place with our magnetic brooches okay so would you would you maybe just put it there on the edge of the oh yes we've yeah, got sorry. it now perfect so I you drape it over one drape shoulder it over one shoulder i've did doubled up with this but again if it's cold you can always let it down singly and style it up whichever way you like. Oh, that's a lovely little brooch. You know? Yeah. But again, if you even change the scarf, um, say to an orange one or even like this, we can do a bit of colour. Look, that's another look straight away. And because of introducing the orange, it's after pulling out more of the orange in the print as well. So when that's photographed and when people see it, they see a different dress to what you would, would have seen before. So how could you do that differently? Again, a differently again, you can put, instead of going with this one... Same dress. Same dress. And a different look. And a different look. You can go your green blazer. Okay. I would look never have thought inside. to put that green yeah. blazer over that now. Again, it's a case of picking out one of the colours when there's a floral dress or whatever and making the green more prominent and the best way to do it it, to bring it out of the print is put the green with it you could see it with the pink you were seeing more pink now hopefully you're seeing more green in it and again all you do with that to bring in the blue 
make it a bit different and put on the blue headpiece. A bit of a headpiece. Yeah. A uh, completely it, different outfit, yeah. but, but the same dress, basically. Yes. Yeah. And even if you don't wear headpieces, just by adding on a different bag. Here we have the cream, and it pulls out a bit of the cream in it as well. And what you can do as well, some people say, oh, what can you do when there's a print? Or when there isn't a print, what you can do is you can bring in your printed scarf, if I can find it. I know I did bring one with me. Okay, take your time. Where did I leave it? This is the dress that's plain. And while I look... That's a kind of a... What would you call that? A salmon colour? A kind of a salmon orangey colour. Again, I must have left it in the bag outside. But don't worry. I have a blouse here that can demonstrate the same thing. Again, you can use this for a... um, dare I say for inside a suit to make it look different but like with this you can wear your dress like that for one wedding okay so just to describe to the listeners how it's it's a uh, what's that material it's it's chiffon, chiffon but you have the accordion a car, a car, blah, accordion accordion pleats going through the top part are small and in the sleeves and then you have the bigger in the midi dress here in the full skirt of it okay but like adding on a lighter blouse like this or like a kimono like we had done before will create a different look again to the dress. Okay, so that gives it a kind of a casual vibe. A casual but still dressy at the same time if you were to go back to our royal blue headpiece. Okay, and you're It'll pulling up the bit of dress. royal blue from the yes, sleeve. Yes, from yeah. the sleeve here. Gotcha. And again, you can always do it with the coral if you wish or the burnt orange again to make it a bit different. You don't have to go the exact same colour because with the chiffon blouse or a scarf, it's going to come out slightly different. But it'll work when someone takes a photograph or when they look at something. Okay. The best tip I can give you as well, instead of when you're going with colours, by grabbing the headpiece and grabbing your dress, putting it up against it or your scarf, go and look at the reflection in the mirror. Put the hat on or headpiece or hat, whatever, on your head. Put your dress on, put your scarf with it and look at the reflection in the mirror. That will give you the best indication of how a camera is going to pick it up or how a human eye is going to see it. Even though one might be lighter than the other, but when you see with the light going through, it can make it look exactly the same as each other. Okay. Just a trick of the eye. It's an easy way of doing it rather than putting all the fabrics and everything up together and thinking you need to get a dead match. You don't. So so some of those outfits that you're showing us there, Danny, would they do for the races as well? Oh, they would do for the races again. Same idea again. But with the races, you can go bigger and more um, vibrant. And we'll show those hopefully in the second half. We have a treat with who we're going to show. I won't give it away yet. But also <laughs> with something like that, you can always cash down the dress just as easy and quickly. Um, say with the dress I showed you there a minute ago, which are pink denim. That will cash it down to go to the pub, no problem. <laughs> I, um, love, I love that pink denim. It is just gorgeous. And again, these are available in a khaki green and they're available in a orangey colour as well. Like that will fit in very well with the dress, if you wish. Okay, so that th- those those kind of coloured denim jackets, they're, they're still all the in. Go. Or yeah. they never went. If anything, they're getting more colourful. They're not as boring as what they were last season. You're getting the oranges like that. That'll take you anywhere, um, even to communion next year as well. And then again, I have pulled a classic dress um, just to show you there again. You can put the blazer with that in the royal blue or whatever way you want to do it. Say like the pink would be a lovely shocking colour for the two of them to go together. Pink and blue. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Pink and blue. It's a lovely colour clash. And when it comes to summer and making more of your wardrobe of stuff you have already, there are no set rules. If it suits your colouring and stuff like that, but look at the two going together, lovely and happy. And you know, that blazer on its own, bla- colourful blazers are so in at the moment. Yes. Now, actually, I have a bit of a secret with this one. It's part of a trouser suit. Oh. So again, the blouse I showed you earlier, it can be worn inside the jacket. 
that's a mall hangers um, <laughs> but again you'll get to see what I mean very quick that's okay. get quicker with this. just to remind everyone by the way that uh, a video of this fashion segment will be up on our talk about Facebook page tonight so you'll have a great opportunity to see all these lovely looks that Danny is describing for us no, so I haven't time to button us all up but you okay. can see the idea there and again with the trouser suit that is from very the same. nice is so that from your own this, store no this is actually from Pamela Scott Pamela this Scott. one okay. what I'm showing the jacket I showed you there is from my place Pamela Scott and the other is Vera not Vera Moda um Oh, It'll come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you talk so quick, Sephora. Sephora, yes, away indeed. From That's across from you in yes. Tralee. Okay. But again, we showed the royal blue earlier. This is a crown that can go with it to give it another bit of um, depth or whatever because you're picking up. Up okay, here as so well. so that's like a fancy headband. How's yes, that worn? Yes, it's a crown. I'll put it on for the viewers out there and for people <laughs> listening. I look like a sad one. Don't worry, I won't be wearing it in Killarney tomorrow. I'll leave the headpieces for okay. the ladies. Okay, oh, that's how but it, it sits. Goes, kind sits of on center. Yeah, of your... center. It's like a crown, but it's like a lace, and you're adding a bit of texture on. I know it doesn't go with what I'm wearing, but like that, anything goes. Um, but that's just a winner that's fabulous and uh, that pink trouser suit now is pink. beautiful from Pamela Scott's are, are they sold separately or do you have to buy them together you can buy them separately or you can buy them together the trousers are only forty nine ninety five, and the, bla and the, the blazer. blazer if I can find the ticket oh lads you're getting the two pieces for under 100 euro that's, that's good value yeah. as well um and of course, as I said already, those those colourful blazers are so in at the moment. And, you know, it's it's lovely to, to strike a pose in, in, in a block colour, well, isn't it? It is. It is. And again, just thinking outside the box a wee bit, we've just put on a kind of a T-shirt underneath it, but it's still quite smart. And again, because of the orange going through it, we'll add on our orangey headpiece like that. And again, we've a bit of colour clashing going on with the orange and pink as well. But we're tying it all together with the T-shirt. With the T-shirt. You've got this blue, uh, oh my God, is it a hat? Is it a headpiece? I'm not so sure. You might describe it for the Is listeners. this a bird? It is just gorgeous. It's like a, a pillbox hat, but bigger. Um, but you have all these layers of feathers coming down and it is f framing the face so beautifully. It's like when you'd be wearing it, you'd be like a lady of mystery. Um, who's behind the feathers it is just divine it's the way they come out and cover almost into a bowl towards the around the neck and around the face line it's just amazing so am I right in saying if you were wearing a hat as elaborate as that you, your dress would want to be fairly plain rather than it could be plain or again you can go for a pattern if that royal blue is going through it okay. it would be lovely and if you're going in for the competition these are the headpieces that catch the eye of the judges and catch the eyes of any photographers around okay. to get into the papers. Yeah, so you, it's yeah, different. You've, yeah, you've got to have a, an eye-catching headpiece if you yes. want to win best yes. dress lady. and particularly the size of these, um, they're just out out of this world but it's even when you move you've that lovely movement going with it as well uh, show us another one that one is royal blue uh, this one do you want to take that one off herself as we call, <laughs> as we call her <laughs> we'll call her Susie yeah yeah. Su Susie has Susie. come into the studio yeah. with Danny today yeah. now this is beautiful I think this is my favourite so far oh, this is they're orange all yeah, it is like you couldn't call one of these. It'd be like a child. You couldn't say you'd one child more than another. And when I visited Carl's um, studio yesterday, oh my, I got blown away with everything here. Oh yes, yeah, so these headpieces are by who? Uh, by Carl Canelli. Oh, Carl, um, of course, she is, lovely. Um, I, she's like, people forget about Carl when it comes to, she's known nationally, internationally like you have the likes of Liz Taylor or sorry, Liz Hurley that has worn her headpieces. You have Nicole Kidman um, just to name a few that have worn they have been on the cover of Tackler, they've been on the covers of so many magazines there are too many to name but sometimes we forget our local heroes when it comes to millinery and someone that is up there with 
dare I say, with the fella um, in Galway. Um, John Tracy, is it Tracy? Yeah, Tracy. Tracy. Philip Tracy. Philip Tracy. Up there, but this is even better because she's local. Yeah. And there is so much. This is orange just for the viewers, the listeners who, who can't be viewers right now. This is an orange headpiece with the most magnificent detail, Danny. Describe the detail. The detail is like a flutter of butterflies. And you, you would have to look at it twice to make sure they weren't real butterflies. Because the way Carl has painted on the butterflies, they're alive. You can even see the wingtips. They're all all connected to each other to make this beautiful um, I don't know what you'd call a bunch of um, butterflies but it's amazing and the colour is picking up and that lovely vibrant orange um, and again you have the the delicate yellows you have the white, the black it is just a statement even if you were wearing nothing the eyes would go straight to the head with this one okay. um, and it just the, the crown of the hat goes to one side so it frames the face so beautifully it's just one of those that is fabulous. pieces show us that third one because I'm, I'm dying to see this one it's huge <laughs> it is even bigger than anything else this is gorgeous it's put on again by a hairband and you can see the detail hopefully I'm aiming it the right way with these lovely creamy pearls and there is an elastic onto it as well to keep it in place. These headpieces would be for Mother the Bride, but these particular ones would be more for the races. But Carl um, supplies for everyone. Now, again, if you're going to Galway, what I would say, make sure you have your appointment well done before maybe Easter to get in, to get that that piece of. Uh, Minnery because she can be so busy but you have a lovely floral detail here you have a lovely wave going on here with the tall it is just gorgeous and and Danny a listener actually wants to know it's a good question where can I buy a hat box for a big hat I re- recently purchased a hat but no box came with it and I'm looking for something decent to store it in Again, sometimes you can be looking at Michael Guiney's. Unfortunately, my supplier that used to do the head bo- hat boxes aren't there anymore. Um, but sometimes you can be lucky in Michael Guiney. But in the meantime, what I would say is go for a cardboard box, go for your acid-free paper, wrap it in it. It'll keep the colour, but make sure there is no sellotape in the box as a temporary measure till you find the proper hat boxes. Um, now a listener, oh yes, this is more of a comment rather than an actual question. Danny, would you believe we're almost out of time already but um, wow. I know it <laughs> went very quickly today um, but we will be talking to you tomorrow of course, you're going to talk to us from Killarney Races and give us a flavour of the style. Uh, just something to, to ask you before we finish up, the summer sales have started already mm-hmm. in a lot of places. What kind of items should people be picking up in the sales? Again, you're going to tell me a bargain isn't a bargain unless you're you going to it. get the need it or the value. What I'd say is before going out shopping, go through your wardrobe, look at your white trousers, do they need replacing? Say anything that you've worn so many times, threadbare. Some some of our favourites were very slow to can I get something like that to replace again? Do a search of the wardrobe to see what you need and think ahead what events have I coming up what do I need I'm short of in the wardrobe to really get the bargains and there are some bargains out there um, and as the time goes on the selection will get smaller the prices will come down a small bit but remember in the sale don't be going in I want a red jacket with short sleeves with no collar or with a collar a sale is only what's there and normally with a sale it doesn't appear again Okay, so, uh, and it's only a bargain if you need it. Yes. Uh, Danny, we better let you go, but we will, as I said, talk to you tomorrow from Killarney Races and you'll be able to give us a flavour of all the style and the glamour and the whole shebang. Make us all envious. Thank you so much for everything. Thank Uh, you. Just to remind listeners, we will have a video up tonight on the Talk About Facebook page and you'll be able to see those magnificent hats by Carl Kennelly and indeed the lovely wedding outfits, uh, potential wedding outfits that Danny was describing earlier on. You'd be able to see those as well.